Denny of Deja, the wing from Israel. 6'9", 215, great size, great playmaking, a tweener for, between small forward yep. and power forward, great cutter, like amazing off ball, like amazing. probably the best, probably the best off ball player in this whole highest this whole draft. off ball offensive IQ in the entire draft. Yeah, yep. easily. And he's an improving defender. Every single game, he was getting mm-hmm. better and better on defense. So he's not going to be a bad defender. The only cons for him is his shooting, 58% from free throw. Yep. And usually we like looking at their free throws to determine if you're a good shooter or not. Because yep. if, if you have a bad free throw percentage, that means you have bad fundamentals. And then you're going to be a bad shooter your whole life. I hope that's not the case for him. I hope he could develop a better shot and get up to an 80% free throw and a decent three-point shooter. Because if he adds that shooting, he could be a really good NBA player. And he could be a starter. And he could be like a top three player like on yeah. a team. I don't think he could be the top player on a championship team. But he could definitely be the second player on a championship team or the third player on a championship team if he develops a shot. And I think that's all he needs to develop for him to be a good NBA player. Yeah, I agree. So like you said, six nine two fifteen is a tweener automatically. Uh, three, four uh, on offense. He's got it. He he has a special like inside the arc game. Like the he's a good playmaker in the pick and roll. He can play off the ball, like you said. One of the probably the best off ball player in the entire draft. But he has a handle, really really good finisher, the mid range floater, layups, everything like that. And he's so versatile on offense. Like you could play him, like I said, at either forward depending on the matchup. You want to go really really small, maybe even center. And he's not the quickest, most most like. Uh, agile defender who's going to be able to stay in front of people, stay in front of guards, but he is a really good team defender, works really hard. The, his defensive shortcomings are not because of a lack of effort. He he has a really high awareness, good positioning, all that stuff. So that doesn't scare me really at all. Um, like you said, it's just the shooting. 32, 32% on, on threes and 58% from the line. Now, I don't really understand how European basketball works. There's like different, he played on different teams, different tournaments, different leagues. I, I don't really understand it. And the numbers are kind of all over the place, but overall, those are the numbers 32 and 58. Apparently, there have been some signs of him improving that free throw percentage, improving the three point percentage, but it's all very low volume. Yeah. If he's able to improve that, his mechanics look decent. If he's able to improve that, that'll open up the rest of his game inside the art game. He can kind of be the, the perfect player because he can play on the ball, off the ball play like two to three different positions, uh, create his own offense, play within the team, can kind of do everything. And I think the natural comp to him has to be Danilo Gallinari, maybe even Dario Saric on the low end. But I I think think Gallo is a good, is the good comp for him. Yeah, the reason I put, I I gave him Gordon Hayward because he's a better playmaker than Gallinari. So I I just like... I I did not think of that. I like that. Yeah, I just like the playmaking he has. And with Gordon Hayward, it's like they both don't use either quickness or strength to kind of get their shots going or kind of get the playmaking started. They kind of just use the flow of the game. And I think he's going to be a great player. Couple, one, one or two all-star appearances here or there. I don't think he's going to be a preliminary all-star like the other three, which I think mm-hmm. are going to be preliminary all-stars. But he's going to be a good NBA player for sure. I actually I, I like that a lot because... I think the size and the because he's probably at this point projecting to be a four, um, Gallinari yeah. and he's he's decent in the post, not as good at Gallinari in the post, but just some of the finishes he has in the mid range and, and mid post and stuff like that. But even though he doesn't make a lot of threes, he plays a more perimeter oriented game, uh, like you said. So that I like the Gordon Hayward comp a lot. Yeah. Um, and like you said, the ceiling completely depends on his shot. If he can score in the mm-hmm. perimeter, his elite game inside the arc will open up. And if that does happen, he could look like the steal of the draft, even taking as high as four. He could look like yeah. this he could look like the clear consensus number one pick if that yeah. happens. Thanks for watching. Listen to the Stretch the Floor podcast on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts and follow us on Instagram.